Hello, everyone. It is Perry right back here at the Supper Suite in Park City talking about more movies. Specifically right now, one of my most anticipated of the festival. We have the filmmakers of Wendy here. Early congratulations to you both. Thank you so much for being here. So, uh, Ben, I told you uh, outside before that we had last spoken many years ago for Beast of the Southern Wild, still one of my favorite movies. I've watched it too many times, can't even count. What have you been up to between now and then? Why such a gap between your two features? Um, I've honestly just been making Wendy. Um, I think I had, we decided to do it at Sundance eight years ago we got started on it uh, a year after that and um you know the film was designed to be an extraordinary adventure um and a circuitous path and it proved to be every bit of that um and so everything that we did um we used sort of very much the same process as beast working with non-professional actors um this time we went to locations that were impossible to access we shot on an island with an active volcano in the volcanic regions and you know um you know, we had an incredible adventure and really made this film that whole time. I met Devin when she was seven years old. We shot when she was nine. Um, you know, we had to teach Kim how to swim. We taught them how to act. We had to get them to, you know, bond and, and, and love each other and all that. Uh, was That was the design of the film. And so um, I don't think I ever knew it would, I didn't know how long it would take, you know, and, but that wasn't, you know, we had this incredible opportunity to see through like a really unprecedented process and, and we did just that. So. I'm trying to put together the timeline here. So how, how old are you now, Devin? I'm 12 years old. So you've known Ben for quite a while. Yes. <laughs> are you super into movies? Super into horror movies. <laughs> I'm talking to the right person here, not to go off Wendy, but what's your favorite horror movie? Well, that's a tough choice between Black Swan or Saw 3 because, I mean, gore is like my everything. I mean, when you see people cutting off their arms, that's just like making my day. Thank you so much, John Kramer. We have to do a follow-up interview at some point and go in she on horror. She can call a horror movie. Like, we'll be sitting there <laughs> together, and she'll be like, jump scare in three, two, one. She can clock them. This is, I know, I'm like freaking out right now. I can't handle it. Um, did you ever think that you would be in a movie like this? Absolutely not. I've always dreamed about it, but I got lucky, I might say. So what was the, the process with finding her? Because I remember for Beast, it was also a pretty significant search until you landed on your lead, who is also phenomenal. So how did you guys come together on working on this? Um, it was really the same process as Beast. You know, we, um, I live in New Orleans, and we kind of have a grassroots casting, grassroots casting system where we go to schools, we go to community centers. Um, and we're really trying to get, you know, both of the kids and for everybody in the cast, we're trying to get people to come out um, and audition for the movie who have never considered acting before, who have never, you know, had any kind of experience. And our whole process is designed around sort of making people feel comfortable and kind of seeing if they have something in them that, that would um, speak to these characters, whether or not they've ever um, tried it before. And, you know, um, you know, some, you know, and when you meet someone like Devin, whose spirit speaks to this character, but also just surprises you, you know, and changes that character, that that's what we're looking for is someone that, you know, I I was looking for someone to teach me who Wendy was, and I met Devin, and she she did that for me. What know? was it about Wendy for you that really clicked? Well, for Wendy, I really could connect on an adventurous level with her. Like, Wendy is kind of someone who me and Ben had um, kind of envisioned together, and then he'd give me like like you know little ideas about like okay maybe do this for this scene, and because you know Wendy's like this, and he would you know help write the script to where it you know fit my personality. But m I feel like Wendy for me is really like curious and adventurous and really courageous, and I can kind of connect on that on a personal level because my Wendy is me. Are you into acting now? Do you want to be oh an actor? Oh my goodness, yes. Okay. I mean, whip me up and put me in a horror movie, please. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying you wanted to be uh, when you grew up before you got this opportunity? Well, um, I do a lot of different things, but I've always liked singing, dancing, and contortion. Contortion? Yes. Oh my God. That's why I want to be in a horror movie so bad. <laughs> I feel like you need to be like the demonic presence. There, oh there has goodness, to be yes, another please. like a uh, child possession horror movie out yes, there that needs to cast it, you please. now. Please. Oh my you god, make I love this turn so around much. 360? No, but I can <laughs> pop my shoulders out of socket and like right. do that weird thing they do where it's like that. 
we're gonna reconnect one day oh, and i'm gonna yes. interview you for your horror movie <laughs> oh please yes. so for everybody out there who is thinking i've seen enough of the peter pan story what does this movie do for them that they haven't gotten elsewhere um well this you know we sort of begin with the kind of the the characters and the and the the framework of peter pan but this story goes in places that peter pan never goes and and it's it's really about different things you know we wanted to make a film that uh confronts growing up with like hope and bravery and sort of takes that on um from a you know it's not it's it's not it's all kids but it's but it's really for anybody that sort of has gone through the sort of tragedy that is losing your childhood and losing these sort of you know it's it's about sort of um taking on aging and and trying to keep who you are and and what you believed in what you dreamed as a kid and so it's it's about those things and also you know our wendy um you know when we went back to peter pan it was like every wendy ever before you know she peter pan's always been a story that just teaches you that adventure is for little boys and girls stay home fix their clothes um take care of the lost boys hide out and we wanted to wipe that wendy off the face of the earth and, and bring a new one that's full of um strength power agency um heart love you know she brings love to neverland in a way that um and family the sense of family that in ways that has never existed in the myth before and um you know i, I hope it i hope it changes the story forever i'm so excited i'm so happy for you guys again congratulations i can't wait to see the movie soon wendy keep an eye out for it thank you so much for your time today thanks to everybody out there for watching this interview from the supper suite in park city thanks to kia telluride like and share this video and stay tuned for more interviews from the festival